News Nightline. Tonight, deadly treasure. It's the thrill of the chase. Adventurers scouring the Rocky Mountains for a chest said to be filled with millions in riches. Oh my God, I see bronze hidden by an eccentric antique dealer. All right, coming close to the treasure. Probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes away. Anticipation's growing. We think we know where we're going. It's time to get there. Time to get it, huh? Let's go find that shit. Let's find it, huh? Let's go get that shit. Yeah, I think first pop into the ground. First time I unearthed a little bit of soil. What about all the other people that went to look for it and they didn't find it? Why were they? They wrong? weren't us, right? I think that's the only difference. They weren't supposed to find it. Everybody's got a fucking reason why they're the ones supposed to find it. That's the same with us. But like, it's just ridiculous when everyone's so assured. Like, we might be right, we might be wrong, but I don't know. I think we're gonna find it. That's all I got. Pike to get here, but we really, all the clues. They sound so right in your ears. I just riding on faith of us finding that fucking treasure. <laughs> I have never hunted for treasure. I have no expertise in anything that would make me better at this. This is just full on winging it, we're going for it. Why I think we'll be successful is just pure gut instinct. There's nothing more to it than that. I just feel like, oh, I know where it is. I feel like the treasure's hunting us in a way. I don't know, it's, you know, you have to believe you're gonna find it if you're really gonna look for it. Bringing a sleeping bag because it's gonna get cold up there in the mountains. Uh, my guitar, you never know when a song will hit. I feel like the open road is a good source of inspiration, especially when you're traveling. My notebook, um, some trail mix, eat healthy on the road, it's important. And yeah. clothes, backpack, travel light, super light. Yeah, just bullshitting with Luke one day at the house. I don't know, we stumbled on the forest fan idea that my cousin threw out there one day when we were on vacation. And I don't know, over cereal, we decided we were gonna go for it. It's about being able to see this thing through till the end and like go at it Goonie style and just find a treasure map, attack it with whatever we've got, which isn't a lot, but just like solve it. It'd be so cool to solve it. And for the adventure, for the story, kind of in the spirit of Forrest Finn, you know, he was an adventurer first and foremost. I think he was in it for the story. It'd be awesome to get buried treasure, just awesome monetarily. Could do a lot more fun stuff. But just to say the fact that you're searching for something that's super old and it's still around, and that some guy decided to use is like the memory of himself. And so you're kind of tied into that. So, you know, make a little history, the adventure, the whole, romance of it a little bit, you know, if you will. The treasure, we we have a pretty good guess, or our best guess is up in West Yellowstone, Montana, but we're going up through the Grand Canyon, driving to Arizona, either going Bryce Canyon or Zion, and then go up through Wyoming, maybe hit Jackson Hole, go through the Grand Tetons, I really want to see that. What I would do if I found the treasure, at first I'd probably quit my job. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd give them two weeks, I, you know, I'd be polite about it, but like, hey, I found treasure, I'm done, you know. Um, and I think I'd just go travel for a little bit, just go cruise. If I find the treasure, I'm gonna travel the world. I'm gonna go Africa, South America, I'm going to Peru, I'm going all over. Forrest Finn is an 87-year-old former military pilot turned wealthy antiques dealer. He claims in 2010 he hid the treasure somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. Why would you do this? Well, in 1988, I was diagnosed with what everybody thought was terminal cancer. But besides that, we were going into a recession, and I just wanted to give some people hope. 
family was huge for him. Family. That's why I really Skippy. connect with him. Yeah, so Skippy. His brother. And that ties into where I think this fucking thing is, okay? So I think it's right underneath the dam at Hegben Lake. Because Hegben Lake, mm. you probably saw it after, because you read it after I have, and I've highlighted Hegben Lake a, bunch a million stuff. times, because it's everywhere in this fucking Yeah, place. Yellowstone and Hegben Lake. I don't think that's an accident. Apparently somebody was in within like 75 yards. I don't know how they know that or how that got out. But people say, I mean, it's, I don't think a guy would go to this much trouble to just it not be real. So many fucking events happen at Hegben Lake and around there that that's why I think the line where it says, in hint of riches new and old, old riches mean his, like him connecting with his family and having all those special moments mm. at that lake. Um, him and Donnie went on that one, like Lewis and Clark-esque, like little- Adventure where they got lost in yeah, the Yeah, they went around, around that area. It wasn't as close, but it was in West Yellowstone. He he was really specific with words too. Yep. He was very, not an very specific with words, so yeah. I think, he made like certain lines more important than the others and was like dropping hints in the whole book. But my one line, it says, after you've been wise and found the blaze, or if you've been wise and found the blaze, um, look quickly down your quest to cease, but tarry scant with marvel gaze. But Terry, I don't know, tarry scant? scant? What does that mean? Tarry means to hurry. So tarry scant, hurry, I don't know what really scant, what he means by scant. I like, I think the reason he hid this treasure is, um, to get people to do what he did with his family, go on road trips, get the fuck outside. I mean, the thrill of the chase. Yeah, he wanted like, the chase, man. get out and do it. Man. Just fucking dig in the earth a little bit and pull that chest out, man. Pull it out, it's gonna find us. It's one of the things, it's, he, I feel like he's searching for us in a way we're searching for him. That's the point of the, like, the relationship between barrier and searcher, I think. Dude, I know? feel it. I really do, like. I, we're gonna meet him too after we find this shit and just be like, dude, we know you. We know you. <laughs> I know your soul. You buried your soul and we found Fuck, it. man. Well, let's do it then. Let's, yeah. Let's crack it. <laughs> Cheers, brother. As I have gone alone in there, and with my treasures bold, I can keep my secrets where, and hint of riches new and old. Begin it where warm waters halt, and take it in the canyon down. Not far, but too far to walk. Put him below the home of Brown. From there it's no place for the meek, the end is ever drawing nigh. There be no paddle up your creek, just heavy loads and water high. If you've been wise and found the blaze, look quickly down your quest to cease. But tarry scant with marvel gaze, just take the chest and go in peace. So why is it that I must go and leave my trove for all to seek? The answer's I already know. I've done it tired and I'm weak. So hear me all and listen good. Your effort will be worth the cold. If you are brave and in the wood, I give you title to the gold. Time for the treat. What treat? Remember? Oh. I have a friend who wanted to bless our trip magically. <laughs> and I think it's time. That oh, it's about to get wavy. We get to it. It's about to get wavy. What? Just have a little fun. Let's see part, baby. Let's go. Let's get trippy. All right. When we took seven. mushrooms in Jackson Hole, we got a big dose of reality check. Oh, All right. Yeah. Oh, the man. The man who blessed us with these. Oh, look at that, the way that Save fell. them, save them. You see that catch? Yo, this is gonna be like a treasure enhancer. It's in there. The it's treasure fun. map is in here. The treasure map is right here. <laughs> it's right here. It's magical. All right, okay. fucking cheers, bro. Cheers. I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, what? It's heartbreaking. 
Yellowstone's fucking closed. That's what we just found out. And you, when you find out the treasure you seek is not available <laughs> because the snow and the roads are closed. And I can't even take it seriously because I, I, I feel so good. Just how mushrooms. So why would you go look for a treasure during the winter? <laughs> <laughs> We're just gung ho. Just a little bit too too ambitious. Built on a foundation of bullshit. I am beyond words at this point. I'm just pure emotion. Just slapped in the face of my stupidity. Just like, yo oh man. Oh, I'm so hyped. You know what? You just feel so dumb. You know, you're like, whoa. No one's been this dumb in a while. You know, people talk about great trips, like being super giggly. This was not one of those trips. This is one of those where you just kind of sit and ponder every bad choice, or not even bad choice, every choice that has not resulted in an outcome you wanted. What about sourcing it through Jackson Hole? It's literally like right. trying to it's, find it's someone on, here in Jackson Hole with a snowmobile that we could fucking dog. It's on the board. It's strap like, up it's to the back of this fucking thing. It's literally and perfect. Get as close to Yellowstone as possible, and then just fucking but look, go. Look where that. I mean, that is perfect to where we need. It's before the. So, it's done. <laughs> I think it's done, dude. Yeah. That was a whole like roller coaster of events as far as like us finding out information. So we find out the park's closed. And then we find out that Headman Lake is just outside of Yellowstone Park. So the point that we needed to access in the lake was at the base of the dam and it had nothing to do with going inside West Yellowstone. So it so here's a little recap. These guys knew that they wanted to go to Headman Lake to try to find this treasure. And I don't even think that they looked at a map. So all the clues basically pointed to Hegben Lake. And then from there, like we were looking for a blaze. Like that was it for me. Like we just had to like come up with something. And when we found out that it wasn't in West Yellowstone, that made it fit my narrative even more because it was like, oh yeah, Forrest would have wanted whoever to go, whoever's gonna go get it, to be able to go get it at any time of the year. So if it's in West Yellowstone, it's gonna be closed for part of the year. So obviously he's gonna have it right outside of West Yellowstone. Boom, therefore, that's the spot. We know exactly where this is. I'm gonna leave this here. It got a little treacherous, it got a little hairy. Like one time I almost fell in the water and that water would have been cold, man. It would have been cold. We're like shuffling right around the edge and where the dam is, we what just kind of started that, looking. We're like, all right, this kind of has all the markings of where it would be. It gets a little squirrely. We can get, I don't think it's accessible. I think we get to the blaze, right? I think we get over there. We get over there. Reevaluate. Danger! Right? This water. Shit! I I hope this is the spot. If it technically is still the spot, we wouldn't need the blaze to be currently blazing. We would just need it to be there. That we just need that to be the spot. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, the blaze would have been right here. Well, I'm gonna start digging right there. broke our shovel digging kind of a treacherous hike to get here but we really all the clues they sound so right when you're here i ended up finding something that hit something it was a uh, like a little plastic like home depot bucket pail and uh uh, it was, there was nothing in it or anything, but it was just like, uh, like... That's what you found? A Home Depot? <laughs> yeah, I found a little... Since they got slip on down to the 